Good afternoon, everyone, uh, or morning, or, at, or evening, or again, whatever part of the world that you're from. But again, this is King, formerly known as King Manly Land, or now known as Elder Brandamore, just here to answer a couple more questions that I got from some friends. And, um, no, nope, I don't have the Burmese python on me this time, but I do have my lizard, my monitor lizard, sleeping on my bed over there, and uh, all I have to say is he better not decide to wake up and take a shit on it, or there'll be consequences. <laughs> He's asleep, so he should be he should be all right. It's meant this video. Anyways, uh, first question. I gotta pull it up here real quick. First, I gotta find it. I'm gonna actually call you Apple Galley because um, I actually know you have a new account. But if I try to pronounce the name of your new account, I will more than likely screw it up. So I'll just call you Apple Galley. If that's okay. There's actually a couple questions here. A few questions. Is there any songs that inspire me more than anything? That's a good question. And also, she asks, I've been wondering, why did you stick with me since the Apple Galley count, and how did you find me? Um, well, actually, I think you found me, and I think it's kind of hard to remember. It's been probably a couple of years now, at least. But I think you might have um, maybe either faved one of my pictures, or just I now happened to notice that you visited my account, and I think uh, I went over to your account and just said hi, and or thank you for the fave, and... Um, you responded, and then I guess we just started talking. You seemed like a really nice person, and I, I thought your art was kind of cool at the time, so it just kind of went from there. Um, and you you mentioned that you thought that you, let me see, how did you word it? I always thought that I was better than I actually was, and I must have seemed like a little kid since, well, I was. Well, I, honestly, I never really got that impression of you. I mean, I actually, on the contrary, and I think I've told you this a couple times, but on the contrary, I actually thought you were very, very mature. Uh, you conducted yourself really well. You seemed really well spoken. You never, never ever came across to me as being stuck up or, um, or thinking that you were better than everybody else or anything like that. I mean, you seemed uh, like a very, very down to earth, mature person. And that's, uh, and like I said, and then when I actually, when you actually told me how old you were, I didn't believe it because honestly, I thought you were <laughs> far older than what you are because because of the way you conducted yourself and the, and how mature you were. So uh, I never got that. Uh, impression of you honestly because honestly I really don't have uh, much in the way of patience for people that think that they're better than everybody else or to think that they're a god or a goddess in art and all that they do and stuff like that because you know what there's always going to be somebody that's better than you and somebody that's a lot better than you and uh, people that have that mentality I just I don't have much patience for so honestly I that never struck you never struck me as being like that so that's why I've, um, you know, like I said, I've followed you all this time. You seem like a really nice person, and uh, your arts, I mean, you've grown so much in your skills. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, the way you draw felines and cats, I mean, they look just about like the real thing, the way you do the eyes. I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, felines isn't honestly the top of my interest in art and stuff like that. I mean, I'm always, obviously, you can see I'm more or less in the dragons and reptiles, but the way you draw cats and just your ideas and everything like that is just awesome. And, uh, and that, along with you being a really nice person, is why I've continued to follow you all this time and, uh, and continue to do so. So, And um, as far as what songs inspire me the most, I mean, um, I guess you could say it depends on what I'm doing. There's a couple of songs that inspire me. I would say, even though the song's not really inspiring, it's my favorite song of all the songs that, are, that I listen to, and it's called the, the Circle of Life by Elton John, and I think that was in the movie The Lion King. I mean, it's just... It's a beautiful song. It's got a lot of truth, a lot of depth, a lot of meaning to it. And it's, it's just beautifully sung in the instruments that are in it. I mean, it's just an absolutely beautiful song and it's my favorite song of all the songs that I listen to. When I'm running or exercising, I like to play the song uh, Eye of the Tiger over and over in my head. I mean, that's a real kind of upbeat song and kind of inspirational. Sometimes I also play the, uh, what's the name of that song from, uh, I don't even remember the name of the artist now, who sang it. Miley Cyrus and The Climb, that's the name of it. That's a very uh, inspirational song too, especially when I've been going through some challenging times in my life, some of you may know, and um, you know, like I said, I never listen to headsets or anything when I'm running or doing that kind of stuff because all those wires and everything moving all around when I'm running, it's kind of annoying, so I just kind of listen to the song repeatedly on my computer a lot, and then it's, I've gotten it down to the point where I know it word for word and everything in my head, and I just play it over in my head, and it's just like I'm actually listening to it, but uh, those would probably be my most inspirational songs. You know, all the, there's some other songs that I like too. I don't really find inspiration in them, but I really like to listen to them. They either are good for calming me down, or whatever, or just 
depending on what my mood I'm in. I don't really listen to anything when I'm drawing, honestly, because I find it to be a distraction. So a lot of times I just do it in silence, or obviously you can hear the ticking of the clocks. So, you know, I don't even hear it, to be honest with you. So uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. And um, But those are great questions. And, um, and like I said, you did, a good, you did a great job with your video. And um, I guess that's pretty much it. And so... Uh, now the next question is from actually a friend of mine who used to be on the art site and uh, they actually gave me they actually gave asked me the question on Facebook and uh, she asked and this is a little bit more of a serious matter and very good questions uh, not that the other question wasn't serious it was definitely serious but this is more of a, a serious matter I guess you could say she asks uh, what do I think of gay couples and if I was the president of the United States would I legalize marriage Maybe like them getting married, and the answer is yes, I would, because honestly, um, every, anybody who's in love, you know, love is love. I mean, it doesn't matter what sex you are, it doesn't matter your age, you know, and if there's true love involved. I mean, I do have a little bit of an issue with age, because a lot of times, and this is especially true with, uh, well, like I said, I mean, you'll have these really old guys that have a lot of money, rich and everything like that, then you'll get these really young women that, you know, I say pretend to love them when really all they're in for it is their money and everything like that but that's that's another another discussion so let's get back to the main topic but yes I would I, yes I would definitely legalize gay marriage because honestly if two people are in love and they're truly in love you can't you, you have no right to stick you know to stick your big nose in it and interrupt it I mean you have no right to interject you know they should be able to get married just as much as any other couple because there's true love there, there's true uh, devotion, and um, and like I said, there, it's just loyalty, and there's no reason whatsoever that they shouldn't get married, or they shouldn't be allowed to get married. I mean, they're not hurting anybody, they're not causing any trouble, and I know that there's going to be people that are going to disagree on this matter, and, and that's fine, everybody has their opinions, and um, but y there's no reason for them to not get married. They have just as much a right as anybody else, and um, like I said, that there's there's absolutely no reason whatsoever that they shouldn't be allowed to get married. So yes, I would legalize it. And as far as what I think of them, I mean, I mean, I mean, obviously, instead, I mean, you have a normal husband and wife. I mean, not, I shouldn't say normal, but normal. Like I said, you have a husband and wife, and then, but you still, even if they're both men, there's still love there. There's still loyalty. And really, what makes a marriage is trust, loyalty, and friendship. And if you have those things there, then, you know, there's no reason that they shouldn't be allowed to get married. So, uh, so yes, I would legalize it. And, um, like I said, I myself am straight. I'm straight as an arrow. I mean, despite what some people think, because I don't, you know, at 33 years old, I still don't have a girlfriend. We'll discuss that in a little bit. But, um, but you know, like I said, and I have no, absolutely nothing against gays whatsoever. You know, like I said, I think they should be allowed to do pretty much what they want, you know, and, um, as long as they're respecting of people that are straight, you know, for like for instance me, as long as they respect that I'm straight and that um, they don't try to do anything, you know, and they don't try to any that kind of stuff. As long as they're respectful, you know. I, I mean, I've got several friends that are gay. To be honest with you, I've got several friends both on the art site and a couple in real life, and um, they're just as good of a friend as anybody else. I mean, in fact, a lot of them are actually pretty funny and everything like that. But you know, they respect the fact that I'm straight, and that's. That's all that's that's all that I need. As long as they respect that, then uh, they're just as they're just as good as anybody else. And in fact, that sometimes I think they're even a little bit better because you know they they seem to have uh, they're like I said, a lot of them are funny. A lot of them have uh, good personalities and everything like that. So uh, they make just as good as friends as anybody else. So I like I said, I have absolutely nothing against them, and I think that they should have just the same rights as everybody else. And um, that's, that's pretty much how I feel about it. Like I said, I know there's going to be people that are going to disagree on this, and that's fine. You're entitled to, you're entitled to your opinions, and uh, like I said, if um, anybody brings up this matter up on this on this YouTube video and discuss it, I mean, if you want to discuss it, that's fine. I mean, I'm perfectly open to it, but um, if you're going to be nasty about it, then um, I can pretty much just tell you to F off and get off my page, because honestly, there's no reason to be nasty about it, and um, like I said, I mean, Everybody has a right to their opinion, and you can certainly feel free to. Obviously, obviously, you have the freedom to speak your opinion, but um, if you're going to be rude about it, if you're going to be nasty about it. Hey, I mean, it's 
my opinion. I'm sticking to it. And um, if you don't like it, leave. You know, because and honestly, like I said, because I, I have no tolerance for that. You know, I believe in acceptance. Like I said, I mean, if it were, if I were in this inst instance where, let's say, you know, if I had a kid or I had a son or a daughter, and um, I found out that they were, you know, like I said, if I found out they were gay, if they were in a relationship. I'll be honest with you and say that maybe I wouldn't be the happiest father in the world. I mean, there might be questions that I might be asking in my head. You know, as a parent, you would you would do that. You would say maybe where did I go wrong or things like that. But you have just have to understand that I know it's not what I did. It's just one of those things. I mean, whether I mean I don't know whether it's a biological thing, whether it's it's just the way it is. But really, why ask questions? It is what it is, and. Um, like I said, I may not be the happiest father in the world, but I would sort of be accepting of it, you know, because first you don't have a choice, you have to accept it, but you, you should be accepting anyway. You know, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's like I said, it's just like with, just like this thing with racism. I mean, people that, the people that are, you know, that are prejudiced. I mean, I just, I have no patience for that either. I mean, it doesn't matter what color you are. It doesn't matter what race, uh, nationalism you're from. It doesn't matter what your religion is. I think everybody, I mean, as long as they're willing to treat other people with respect, I mean, I think they should be treated in the exact same manner. I mean, uh, I don't have anything against any race. I mean, absolutely none whatsoever. I have nothing against uh, a religion. I mean, as long as people are respectful, as long as they treat you with respect, that's all that should matter. Nothing else, nothing else at all should matter. And that's the way, and that's the way I really feel about it. And um, I guess that's... Uh, Pretty much covers that topic. Let me just see if there was any other parts to that question because I don't really. I think that was it, though. Hang on, just one second. I gotta pull it up here. Um, oh, where is it? I gotta find it. Oops, wrong button. Wrong area. Nope, that was pretty much that was pretty much it. So that's 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 how I feel about it, and uh, you know, that's pretty much it. But like I said, uh, going back to a previous discussion, since this video is actually shorter, and I've got a few minutes to do it, I hope this is recording. Okay, good. Thank you. There's been times where I've done a whole entire video, and then I would wrap it up to find that I didn't even push the record button, and uh, that annoyed me slightly. But anyways, like I said, there's some people even like the members of my own family that think that happened to you know question whether I was straight or not because I don't have a girlfriend but let me give you a little bit of my insight from this I mean the reason that I haven't had a girlfriend I should well let's just say I don't, never it's not like that I've never had one I've actually had only two in since you know high school or since you could start dating whatever but my main thing is a lot of the girls today are just you know they just I can't, you can't, they can't, you know, I can't trust them. I mean, at least the ones that I've met, at least the ones that I've dealt with. I mean, I'm sure there's, there's a lot of good women. I mean, good, I guess a good women, girls, whoever you want to put it, like my age, it would be women out there. And likewise, with, and likewise, but too, with women, with guys. I mean, guys are just as bad, if not, you know. I don't really know anymore, because I think, honestly, <laughs> it's honestly pretty, they're pretty equal on both parts. But, but it just seems like the girls today, they just don't, when they look for a guy, they don't look, for what really matters. They look at this, you know, the face, they look how much money they have in their wallets, not in their wallets, but their bank accounts. They look what kind of cars they own and, uh, you know, that kind of thing. And, you know, it's materialistic stuff. It's, they're not looking at what really matters and what really matters is what's in here and what's in here. That's what matters the most. And, um, and like I said, it's just a, for instance, you know, this is not the reason I'm growing my beard, by the way, because but in a, in a sense, it, this beard is kind of good because it acts kind of like a shield. I mean, if if someone was really truly interested in me, it would force them to look past, it, you know, look past this, look past the beard, look past the hair. Because you know, let's be honest, I mean, most girls are looking for a lot of girls, I should say, not all, not most, but well, I should say most of the ones that I've you know once that I've had experience with, not myself personally, but just, you know, being through school and everything, or looking for guys with short hair, you know, maybe a little bit of facial hair, or six pack, you know, athletic, that kind of thing. And um, they, they just, it just seems to be the type, you know, but yeah, like I said, and then the guys that are maybe not quite so good, look, not quite as attractive, I guess you could say, like, uh, you know, the ones that wear like the glasses, or just, you know, ones that don't have the six pack or whatever. A lot of the girls just, 
don't even look at them. They just let them walk right past. And they'll say, ooh, look at that guy. I mean, I would hear this all the time in school, and it would just make me shake my head. And they'd be like, oh, look at him. Uh, pizza face, uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you know. And that's as far as I go. That's it. You know, and for all they know, that kid could be a genius. I mean, he could be the nicest person you'd ever meet. He could be smart. And, and who knows, 20 years, 15 years down the line, they could be making a six-figure you know, working a six-figure job, while the ones that they're interested in are either still at home, not working, or worse off in jail, you know, that kind of thing, and because it seems like a lot of girls are going for guys that are along those trends, too, with the drugs and everything like that, and uh, what kind of life is that, you know? So, like I said, I mean, a lot of girls just, they, they look what's on the surface, and I'm sure guys are the same, a lot of guys are probably the same way with girls. They look what's on the surface, and uh, that's as far as they go. And I just don't, ha I just don't have patience for that. I just don't have, you know, if someone's really truly interested in me, I want them to be interested in me for me, not by what I have, not by what I look like, not, you know. And I want the, they need to be interested in who I am as a person. And likewise, because like I said, when I look at, you know, if I see girls walking down the street, of course I'm, you know, of course I'm just going to say, oh, that one looks nice. But the first thing that comes to my mind is. See, unlike a lot of guys, the first thing that comes to my mind is mm, maybe I'd like to get to know this girl a little better. You know, as in becoming friends and, you know, that kind of thing. Most guys, you know, like I, when I was in school, you know, there's a lot of times we'd sit after school on the steps and a couple of us sitting there, two, two or three of us, two of my friends would be sitting there. And they'd be looking at the, you know, they'd be looking at the girls walking past like a bunch of wolves, you know, they'd look like a bunch of, you know, crazed wolves with their tongues hanging out, and they'd say, ooh, look at that ass, look at that ass walking past her, wouldn't you like to bang that, wouldn't you like to blah, 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 oh, I'd like to jump on her bones, oh, look at that, and I'd just be sitting there, I'd just be sitting there shaking my head like this, I'm like, well, the first thing that I'd be thinking, is, I'm not stereotyping or anything like that, but the first thing that comes to my head would be a typical hormone-crazed male, homo sapien, just thinking, just, just, that's all they look at, they just look at you know, they look at them almost as a thing, not a person. It's like, what, you know, what do you think, like, what would be the, her personality like? I mean, I, you could have the prettiest girl. She could be like a model, beautiful, beautiful. And, you know, make, make any guy do like a Google Y thing at her, like, you know, just following her. You could see like in the cartoons, you'd have this real pretty girl walking, and then you'd have three guys behind him with their tongues hanging out. And like, I've seen it in a couple of cartoons, but, she could be the prettiest girl, but if her personality, if, she, if she's nasty, if she's like, you know, stuck up, snobby, bitchy, whatever you want to call it, if she's that, I don't care how pretty they are. They're, that's as far as it goes with me. You know, I look at what's, I look at their personality. I look what's in here, and I look what's in here. And, um, and even if, like I said, I mean, every time I'm looking, I see how, I don't only look at, you know, obviously I'm a guy, so I'm going to look at, you know, you'll see their body too, but... You look at how they treat other people. I mean, if I'm interested in, if I'm interested in knowing them a little bit more, if I happen to see them again, I see how they interact with people, and if they seem friendly, and kind of outgoing, because I've always been very bashful when I was in school with girls, and I still am. But I would see how if they seem like they were friendly, maybe I would maybe try and strike a conversation up with them and go from there, and then you know, wherever it goes, it goes. But most guys, the first thing they think of is you know, sex. That's the first thing that comes to mind, and it's like, you know what, in a relationship, there's so much more, I mean, it shouldn't be, a, a foundation of a relationship shouldn't just be based on sex. I mean, that's to me, is icing on the cake, and um, it should be about friendship and trust, and, um, and that should be the foundation of it, friendship, trust, and with that comes love. That should be the foundation of a real relationship, and, uh, and you know, like I said, maybe it takes people to get to a pretty advanced stage before they realize that because you know maybe I realized those things a lot sooner than most guys do in fact a lot of guys even at my age still don't see it that way but you know what are you gonna do it's the way it is in the world but uh, and like I said I'm sure like I said a lot of girls are probably the same way you know and uh, but what are you gonna do it's just the way it is but anyways like I said as far as me I've had two girlfriends in times the first one was when I was in high school I think I was like 16 years old and stuff like that. We met when I was at a swimming pool, actually. And she seemed like a nice girl. You know, we, we kind of, like like I said, she had a, some things, but like I said, that was going on and stuff like that in her life. But 
like I said, I looked past those things. We got into a really good relationship and, uh, you know, got to be really, really good friends and everything like that. But, you know, like I said, I started to suspect later on in the relationship that, that she might have actually been seeing somebody else. And that's one thing that's unforgiving in my book. That's one thing that's a big no-no is, is cheating. Because loyalty is number, numero uno in my book. If, you're, if I ever caught you cheating or if I found out and I found it to be true, that's it. You know, because I will not, I, I mean, I believe and people can make mistakes, but the way I see it is if you cheated once, you'll do it again. And, um, but anyways, I started to suspect it, but I didn't bring up anything. Cause like I said, I didn't have anything to prove it, but I, but I suspected it. You know, that's one of those things that you can sense. Maybe some people can, some can't, but probably about 10 months into it, one day I just came in school and uh, there she was with her arms around another guy and smooching him. On the lips, and uh, that was it. She saw me, and uh, she knew right then and then it was over, and uh, that was it. I wouldn't, uh, like I said, I find something like that unforgiving, and uh, that was it, and it was done. And uh, we still stayed friends after that, but I said that that's it, that's as far as it'll ever go. And uh, you know, like I said, and she understood that, and that was it. that was pretty much it. I mean, now she's this was like I said, this was what 15, 16 years ago. Now she's. Uh, you know, she has a husband. I don't know where exactly where they live now. I, last time I seen her was probably about seven years ago. Right now she's got three kids and a husband who's considerably older than she is. But she's going to do She's doing pretty well. And I, like I said, I've always wished her well. I never wished ill upon her. We're still friends. We still chat every now and again on Facebook. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. And then um, I had another girlfriend probably <clears throat> about seven years ago. And um, again, like I said, she, she had some things. But again, I looked past that and um, but she was a, she was a really nice girl down to earth and everything like that but um, I'm also a type of person that I think you should get to know one another for a little time before you go a little bit further to see what they're really like because they could be and it's you know it works both ways they could be wonderful in the beginning everything's growing grand and stuff like that but sometimes you just got to wait a little longer to see if, if it's an act or is this how they truly are well about four or five months into it, I started to notice that she seemed to be like the type that think that she could control everything. That she liked to be the wearing the pants and that kind of stuff. And that kind of don't fly with me. I think it should work both ways. There should be no pants in the family, so to speak. So she started to get to the point where she was trying to think that she was going to run my life and tell me what I was going to do. And I'm like, no. I said, I've been working certain goals, certain things that I want to do. And I'm going to continue to do those things, and and likewise, I want you know, it, it, I wish for you to continue to do what you want to do, and um, but she thought that she's like, oh, we're going to move here, we're going to have kids, then we're going to do this, we're going to get married. I said, no, I said we're not going to do that. We're going to, just, you know, first of all, I'm not ready for kids, not for a while, and second of all, you know, anyways. But anyway, like I said, that was a big long discussion, and um, <clears throat> but in the end, it ended up not working because, like I said, she wanted to try and control my life and control everything like that and mm -mm, that don't that don't work for me but um, so that was over so I broke that off and um, I don't said I don't know where she is now I mean I like I said I hope everything went well I'm sure she did she ended up moving and um, doing her thing but you know you can't have that everything you got to work together in a relationship you have to compromise you know one for the other but in, in, as far as I'm concerned there should be no such thing as one person controlling all the aspects of the whole entire relationship it should be a joint effort so but anyways um that's pretty much it and then ever since then i've not really had any kind of any kind of relationships and um like i said it's just because not that i'm actively looking either i mean there's other aspects in my life that i'm focusing on and i wonder how long i mean this video's been going so far uh i can't really tell but anyways um like i said that's just not you know that's just until I meet someone who's, you know, like I said, who will, who we can get, like I said, who will see, like me for who I am, and, uh, and just, if we can get along and work together and just, you know, be in a relationship as it should, as, you know, as one would think it should be, like I said, where we have trust, we have friendship, we have companionship, and, um, and we can get along with one another, that's, you know, that's what I'm looking for, and, um, like I said, I mean, if it means that I have to wait an entire life for my entire lifetime for it, then so be it. You know, I'd rather I'd rather be 
single my entire life than to get in a relationship and it turned out to be a bad one because uh, you know it wouldn't be good for either of us so that's pretty much it I think um, I babbled on mostly about that and I guess it's probably gone over my 15 minute limit but oh well and um, but again very good questions very very good questions and as always if anybody else has anything that they'd like to ask me feel free to either comment on this video or comment on my journal and um, be more than happy to make another video and if not then uh, to all of you so we'll watch me on face on uh, Facebook but uh, YouTube you'll probably see some upcoming videos later clock related usually usually I do clock related videos on there but uh, I don't know I might do some other videos some other point I don't know what but you know something of interest I haven't played any video games in a long time so I probably wouldn't be of that but you never know but any of any, any of you have any questions feel like I said feel free to give me a holler and uh, that's pretty much it for now and um, sorry if I seem like I'm babbling a little bit but that's what happens when I drink too much chocolate milk I get a little uh, hyper and uh, so far he's still asleep so we're in good shape alright till next time see you soon